So we are in UCL London, so really lucky on our hip coach to uh, have consultant physio, ultrasound and injection specialist already joining us. So uh, shortly we're going to go and have an injection done with the live patient. Uh, so first, um, uh, Glenn, could you explain sort of what we're going to have with the patient done? Yes, yeah, so we've got Laura coming along. She uh, first started getting symptoms in 2014 in her left hip. Um, she ended up going for arthroscopic surgery in 2015. Um, very good response to the rehab. She ended up uh, completing a marathon in about three and a half hours, so very pleased with that. But as a result, she started to develop symptoms in the opposite side. So um, now we're managing that. She's been conservatively managing that for the last um, six, seven months. Uh, and it's uh, obvious that I feel uh, injection might help her along that journey. So Suez is very kind. What are the options? Yeah. So what are you planning Thank to do now? Thanks for the invite, guys. It looks like it's a good course so far. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to the Laura and explain the um, what are the options for her. In our case, probably we would stay away from the steroids because she's quite young. She hasn't got that acutely inflamed uh, hip. She's just struggling with her activities with mild to moderate symptoms. So the best option for her would be is trying out the uh, osteoneal some viscous supplements, hyaluronic acid, which kind of helps her with uh, that niggly ache and it also helps her to uh, promote the heat sort of rehabilitation all the activities the in our case probably the running and then the quality of life which she's looking for so we're going to demonstrate that in the um, shortly uh, and we're going to use the ultrasound guidance and then i'm, I'm also going to explain the role of ultrasound in diagnosing the hip pathologies and also focus on the interventions we do around the hip joint um, and then injectates. That's a big sort of uh, discussion is going to be between the steroids, uh, hyaluronic acid, and also the new in the market, the orthobiologics, PRP, and the stem cells. Uh, I'm looking forward to the discussion. Yeah, so great. So we're going to see the patients sh shortly. We're going to do the live stuff. So um, any questions on injections, ultrasound, you know, I'll put the links for Suresh down below. So uh, go to our go to man for injections and ultrasound. This is a great option, especially for patients who are not uh, progressing uh, with the rehab or failed a period of three or six months of uh, uh, physio input. So that coming all the way. Thank you. Thank and you. Good morning. Thank 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 Thanks, man. Cheers. 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 Soft tissues. You don't see a vessels. When, you, when you're using with the ultrasound, you can see the nerves, you can see the bed vessels. So you're far, far away from all those structures. Doing this. Excellent. So I've kind of sterilized the area with the chloroprep. So that's the needle. Infiltrate with about six to seven mils of one percent lidocaine to offer her a bit of relief. How long lasts? Uh, about yeah. two to three hours, depending on the person. You know, sometimes some people use marking. Tell me how you feel it. How, how painful you is can, it? It's not painful. You can just feel, but you can just feel pressure. Some pressure, yes. Yeah, right. just pressure. Uh, the more that steep, the steeper the angle, the less the visibility would be. 
so that's probably one of the reasons people unless until you've done a lot of experience doing the ultrasound ultrasound guided procedure people don't go nearer to the hips that's another reason why a lot of people when they say ultrasound guided hip injections oh, wow. so that scares them partly again you have that neurovascular bundle which is big neurovascular bundle you just meet up to it as well but once you get used to this technique patients feels you know patient experience wise you know imagine if she's going into the theater and x-ray radiation exposure mm -hmm. and then you know it's